Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV.
Adam here with Dennis Irwin. Dennis, thanks very much for your time. Um, you're back in Ireland for the day, uh, or maybe just the weekend, is it? Uh, no, just for the night. A, a big game here today and a bit of a dinner tonight. So Abs- Absolutely. Uh, how did you find uh, today? Obviously, beautiful weather. Not the scoreline you were looking for, but in these type of games, I don't think uh, the scoreline is what matters. It's more for the cause, really, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we, we brought 10 players across. We obviously used one or two local lads. Um, got ourselves into a very healthy position, but Keith O'Neill, uh, sorry, Keith Gillespie scoring four, um, and we're four, four two up at one stage, and then uh, we made a few substitutions near the end, and they came back strong on one five four. But yeah, listen, as long as everybody enjoyed it, it was a good sunny day. Pitch, pitch was in great condition. I got to say that. So uh, there's no complaints there. And I hope everybody enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. It, was, it seemed like a great day of entertainment uh, from the cheer and with all the goals. And, you know, even at times when there were some little flicks and back heels and so on, and the crowd were cheering and everything like that. It seemed like it was just a great day in general. Yeah, it was. And uh, don't forget, like, we're, we're getting on a bit in age. You know, Sammy Mack and Frank Stapleton and the, the, the likes of, you know, Arthur Albiston. And, you know, they're, they're all in, well, some of them in their 60s, I think, even. But, uh, but you know, Clayton's in his 50s, Snoz, Lee Martin... I think he's just 50 soon. I'm well over 50, so... You don't look it. Well, yeah, I know, but, like, you forget that you can't run as fast, but certainly you never lose the ball skills or, or the competitive edge that was out there today. So, um, Frank Stapleton as well, local lad, Liam O'Brien. So, uh, they all enjoyed it. The crowd enjoyed it. And the, the local Wayside Celtic obviously did very well in the end, and I think they enjoyed it as well. Absolutely, and uh, you'll enjoy now the rest of your night. You go for a meal, maybe a few drinks, and enjoy yourself with the lads, and maybe catch up with a few of them. Yeah, no, it's great to catch up because I mean I see a few of them around anyway. The likes of Clayton and Frank lives around the corner from me, um, but uh, you know I, there's one or two lads there that I don't. Liam O'Brien obviously lives across here in Dublin, so it'd be great to catch up with him and see what he's doing. And uh, yeah, that's that's the best thing about coming across for these games and just meeting the lads. Absolutely, Dennis. Thank you very much for your time. So here we are, Irish Football Fan TV, take two, because the battery just cut out there a second ago. I'm here with Clayton Blackmore. Um, Wayside Celtic Legends 5, Man United Legends 4. After four, at one point you were 4 2 up. Yeah. What happened? I mean, we had, uh, obviously, the first couple of sessions, we had Keith Gillespie up front, and uh, it was going all to plan. I mean, I think the referee uh, gave him a dodgy goal, so he brought them back into the game a bit. But, Is that the soft penal? Um, it might have been a soft penal, but we were 4 2 up. And I, don't, I just remember because Keith couldn't play the last third, I said to him, You watch this game, will end up 5 4. And I didn't realise the team they brought on was the youngest team, and it it was probably a little bit too much for us. Yeah, it kind of took us toll, uh, the younger legs, obviously. And they were fresher as well, they seemed to have a lot more players than you guys. Yeah, I think they had about 35 players <laughs> to our 16, so. Yeah, I mean we've got we've got a lot of old legs as well. Legs out there, you know, Sammy McElroy's 64, Frank Stapleton 61, and Arthur's 60, he's 60, and you know, most of my group are, you know, we're in our 50s, so it was probably a little bit too much. And we took a, we brought a few lads on, you know, who've, you know, been sponsored or whatever to play in the game, and it was probably a little bit too much for us. Yeah, and um, just in terms of these type of games, I mean, it doesn't really matter about the score. It's all about, I suppose, taking yeah, part for these sort of char- charity games. Um, have you enjoyed yourself? Uh, you've had, you had your golf in yesterday, you had the football today. I think you're doing more golf tomorrow, is it? Yeah, I mean, me, me Lee Martin are having a knock tomorrow on Druid's Glen. You know, most of the other lads are going on, but, you know, it was the hospitality's been fantastic as usual. Uh, um, you know, Dublin's like the second home next to Cardiff or Swansea. <laughs> but no, it's been fantastic. Like I say, the hospitality's been, you know, brilliant. Okay, and um, just in terms of uh, tonight, then you're gonna have your meal. Then you be out for a few drinks and then that, enjoy yourselves tonight. Yeah, I think most of the boys will be having a few drinks just to get rid of the pain, because <laughs> we're all in pain now. All right, and uh, you got you're gonna hold Frank Stapleton uh, responsible for the loss tonight? No, not really. I mean, to be fair, he should have scored. But, no, I mean, he, I could tell he was, he's, he was going to be tired that part of the game, and it's such a hard, you know, you're running up to him, you can't even probably concentrate on what you're doing on the penalty when you're so tired, and uh, it's, it's been a hard session, really, for the boys. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks very much for your time, Clayton, and enjoy your rest of your time in Dublin. Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, just here with Lee Martin after the game, obviously a 5-4 loss, disappointing loss, but in these type of games, I don't think the score really matters too much in charity games. Uh, did you enjoy yourself? I loved it out there, yeah. I mean, it's, it's been a nice day for it as well, and we've we've had uh, we played against three different teams, so it was always going to be different, you know, the sections of the game. But uh, really enjoyable. We all still love playing, 
it's nice to get across to Ireland to play um, and support the, the charities. Um, so it was, you know, it was a really enjoyable day. We don't like losing because we, we're footballers and that's that's our nature. But um, you know, that's what these days are about. We, we we love coming, we love playing, and at the end of the day, everybody's uh, everybody's a winner. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, you got the weather now for the weekend. You had the golf yesterday. Beautiful yes, sunshine yeah, for yeah. that. Beautiful sunshine for today. Yeah, How fantastic. have you enjoyed it? It's been brilliant. It's a brilliant place. I mean, the setup here is, is second to none. The pitches are fantastic. The golf yesterday was brilliant. Uh, everybody's looked after us. We're going to have a few Guinnesses tonight and um, a gala dinner. And then maybe, Celebrate around Madrid and then win. Maybe you, hopefully, yeah, yes, fingers crossed. And then hopefully uh, a bit more golf tomorrow, depending on how the body holds up, because uh, the pitch was actually quite hard today. But uh, fantastic surface. But when you're not playing week in, week out, that hard surface can, you know, it, it was a joint and what have you. So see how we are tomorrow. But it's been a brilliant weekend. We, we love coming over, doing this sort of stuff. We all love playing, like, like, like I said. And, um, you know, it, it's great for us, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, enjoy the rest of your uh, time here in Dublin, and thank, thank you very you much very for much. your time. Lovely, cheers. you're a gent. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. I'm just here with Frank Stapleton, um, a one-time Ireland's record goal scorer. Um, how did you feel about the game today? Obviously, a 5-4 loss, um, but just we're on top for a lot of the game. How did you see it playing now? Yeah, it was. Uh, I think we just run out a bit of steam. I think um, the, the first we started off the game. I think probably it might have been fairer if we'd have played the youngest team first rather than played them last. Because we kind of run in our steam, and obviously we didn't have as many players, and, and there were obviously three different age groups that we played against. But it seemed to go from f from f like the slowest to the fastest, and from the least fit to the fittest coming on for them guys. Well, I think that's uh, they don't like to lose at home a lot of teams, but you know, we I think the foot the entertainment was good, the uh, supporters enjoyed it. It was for a very good cause today as well. Um, we actually went and seen the guy who was benefiting from it, so. It, yeah, I think it's been a good day and the sun even came out. It wasn't good for the players, but I think for the supporters, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And as you say, in these type of games, I don't think the scoreline is really what matters. It's the day out in general. Yeah, I think that's uh, coming to a game like this. You, you're going to see goals, uh, entertainment and tricks and things like that. Um, and it's a, they're very supportive. Obviously, the, the club has done, done wonders here over the years. Got a very good reputation and I think that's... Uh, you know, the organisation, I have to say, was very, very good today. Yeah, and I thought, uh, from what it seemed, from the, from the cheers from the crowd, that everyone enjoyed it, and there was a lot of entertainment in terms of there was a lot of good football actually played out there. Yeah, I, I, there was, if you, if you look at it, and, and some of the goals, obviously... We have them on, on the, on the videos. So. Yeah, it's, it could have been prevented in certain ways, but it was just uh, one of those things you just get on the skull, and as you said, it wasn't that relevant, but at the end of it... There's a lot of kids here, this is a community club and I think that's when you see them come out well then you know that the future is going to be bright for, for Wayside Celtic. Absolutely, well, Frank thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of your time here today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much Frank.